Okay, next one. This one's binding a little, not bad. Yeah, this one's about the same as the other. Um, they were really tight before, but I used a drill to uh, spin it to try and wear it in and um, seized it a couple of times, so I've probably made it much looser than it should be. Um, even if I get this engine to run uh, with air or steam for five minutes, even if it seizes after that, I'll be happy. I've had a good time just uh, machining the parts. try and make it easier this time and take out the uh, connecting rod. I did measure these holes in relation to the crankshaft so it may be the case that they are on pretty center and um, you know, I'd measure from a reference side over, and then add, and then go over. Um, except that I uh, basically center punched in the metal here, and then mounted this piece onto the uh, face plate so that I could turn the threads. Um, starting to wonder if uh, using threads to connect uh, the cylinder walls onto the uh, main engine body is a good idea or not. Uh, one thing is they could loosen up um, but that could be fixed with Loctite. Okay, we got a problem here. Um, darn.
have to do this by hand. Okay, on the left side I used one that was 30 thousandths, and it's working good now. Um, still have some gap on the right side to fill up. Assembly. Okay, let's run it in a little. <coughs> There's a little bit of vibration, so it's probably not running truly concentric. I think it's from that piece, uh, the eccentric, that's on the end, because um, I remember when I put it in there, it was a little loose. Uh, but there's like no um, resistance so far. I don't feel it getting warm. Speed it up a little. You can hear a little bit of knocking. Either that or that's the um, huh, that feels cool. The air and suction. 
for the uh, pressure and suction coming out of the cylinders. Let's put in some heavier oil. This is going to splatter everywhere, probably including the camera. Um. <laughs> oh. Still not getting warm. 